In this tip, I'm going to show you how to find the prior end month average sales using an in statement. As an example, we can see we have months in the rows. I'm showing the latest month sales as well as the prior three month sales. I'm going to show you how to write a calculation to bring back the latest month sales and also a separate calculation using the in function that brings back the prior three month sales. After that, we'll compare the latest month sales to the average of the prior three months. For simplicity, I've gone ahead and filtered my year to 2020. I'm going to right click and drag order date to the rows, and I'm going to pick the MY option to show me each individual month. Let's drag sales onto the table, and we now see the sales for each month. What we want to do is we, were, we want to write a calculation that brings back just the 83,829, and then a separate calculation that brings back the values for September through November. So let's start by bringing back the latest month sales. I'm going to create a calculated field, and I'm going to call this latest month sales. I'm going to use the date trunk function at the monthly level of order date. This is going to bring back each individual month in the data set. Now I only want to bring back the I only want that to be um, only return the latest month. So I'm going to say is that equal to and I'm going to use the same function, but I'm going to wrap it in the level detail expression and a max function. So date trunk month of order date. And now this second part is going to say first bring back every month, then give me the maximum of all of those months, so December 2020 in this case, and then return that as a level of detail expression. Now that I have that, I'm going to wrap the whole thing in, this, in an integer function. And what this is going to do is when there is a match, it's going to return a 1. Every other month, it's going to return a 0. And then I'm going to multiply that by sales. When I drag that into the table, we can see we now just get the latest month sales. I want to write another expression now that brings back the sales for the prior three months. So I'm going to create another calculated field, and I'm going to call this one prior three months sales. So first I'm going to write if the difference in the dates at the monthly level between the uh, date trunk monthly level of order date, and then the end date is going to be that max again, so my level of detail expression again, max, and this time I'll just copy it in for simplicity. So what this is saying now is if that date diff is um, in, one, two, or three, meaning if it is in the last three months, then I want to return sales and otherwise return nothing. So let's go through that again. The date diff function is now telling us the number of months between each order date and the most recent month. If that is one, two, or three, meaning one month ago, two months ago, or three months ago, then return sales. Let's drag that into the view, and now we can see we have the latest month sales versus the prior three month sales. All right, so the next step I want to do is I want to take the average of these three fields, so 284,000 divided by three, and compare that to 83,829. The next function I need to calculate is the prior three month average sales. And this is again going to be a level of detail expression. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the average at the monthly level. Oops. So I'm going to say fixed date trunk 
month of order date. So this is going to fix the function at the monthly level. Sorry, lots of typos here. And for that, I'm going to turn the, the sum of the prior three month sales. OK, let's now close the uh, sorry, let's close the level of detail expression and then close the average. So let's look through what this is doing. So first off, it's con it's comparing each month and it's only going to bring it back if it's the prior three month sales. And then I want to take the average of those three records. Let's drag that onto the text shelf now and we get 94,697. So if I lasso these three marks, I can see I get 284 divided by three is going to be around 90, 95. So something like that. So that's our prior three month sales. We can then maybe look at our latest month sales and we have the two of them next to each other. If I want to compare them, I want to compare the uh, latest month sales versus prior three month average. That's going to simply be the latest month sales minus the prior three month sales divided by the prior three month sales. This is going to give me the percent difference between those two. So I'm going to set the default number format to be a percentage to one decimal. Let's drag that into the, into the measure value shelf. And now we can see the latest month sales is 11.5% 11 lower than the average of the prior three months. So again, the important thing we're trying to learn here is how to use the in function. And what this function is doing now is again, it's looking at the difference at the monthly level between each order date and the last order date. So, just, so this is comparing every month to December. And if it's one, two, or three months ago, give me the sales. And that's all there is to it. Hope you found that useful. Have a great day.